align your beliefs with your habits. This is key. While it cannot be ruled out that persistently changing a habit can ultimately lead to a change in the original underlying belief, trying to create a positive habit in the face of an underlying negative belief takes great amounts of willpower and success is not guaranteed. In contrast, once you change the negative belief associated with the negative habit, then changing habits comes far more easily. In other words, creating a new positive habit requires little or no willpower when the underlying belief is working with it rather than against it. There's no need to wait. Even though changing your underlying beliefs is important in changing habits, you do not have to wait to change the belief before creating your new positive habits. Working on the two together is in fact preferable as it speeds up the process. The emphasis here is to change the negative belief, not to wait before changing the habit. Change the two together and success will quickly be yours. Use the example of the dieter changing his or her underlying belief from I am fat to I am healthy and slim while at the same time systematically adopting new healthy eating and exercise habits that reflect the new belief is the surest if not the only route to permanent success. Okay? So we're talking about dieting here. For me, the issue was about money. That was one of the real big negative beliefs that I had about money and I developed habits that had to prove those beliefs to be true. So I carried a belief about money, a negative belief about money that there was never enough. No matter how much money I had, it was not enough. I need more, right? Because I'm comparing myself to my friends and I'm comparing myself to people in the same industry as, as me and I'm comparing myself to people that have more so if I got a hundred it's not enough right if I got ten dollars and what I want costs four dollars in my mind I don't have enough clearly I do if I got ten and it costs four I got enough money actually I have enough money and about two of them with some change left over but in my mind, it wasn't enough. I needed $100 to spend $4, right? So as the cost of things increase, now I need to make more because I don't have enough in my mind, when clearly I already did. And I wasn't in a state of appreciation for what I had or grateful for what I had. It was just never enough. 